Hello everybody, so today I'm going to show you a quick video in GameMaker 2 basically talking about scrolling backgrounds. Now scrolling backgrounds are a little bit complicated. First of all you need a long sprite which will have an image that you can create using something like Photoshop or Illustrator or any graphics program or you can use a photo like I've got here. This is just a, a beach photo and I've cut out the wave from the beach photo and kind of extended it along. If you go to the sprite itself it looks like this. So the sprite is very long. It is in fact, you can see there, 4,000 pixels across and 800, uh, 704 pixels high. When I bring it in as a background here, you can see there's Sprite 0, which is the same sprite. And we have to make the background move. So in order to do that, we set up some things down here, these, these properties and viewpoints. And I've made it 4,600 high. Um, because the room I was looking at I wanted for my game, I wanted it to be 800, 600. We've got it 600 high, and so I need a viewpoint which will give the room 800 and 600, and so I go here. I set up enable viewpoint, viewports and cameras, and I then make it 800 wide, 600 high. I make it follow an object. Um, you can change these settings, these horizontal borders around the object, and I'm making the object move at a horizontal speed, and I'm also making the background move, as you'll see um, down here. So you can see you've got a number of viewports when you go. This is viewport 0, and room settings 4,600, viewport naught. 800, 600, camera view, same. There's your object that you're following. And so we'll play the game and you'll have a look at what's happening. I've got um, the width of the camera, the properties there, viewport one, we're not using. It's not visible, so we can just shut that off and viewport two as well. So we're only using viewport zero. If we run the game, you'll see what's happening. I've got a couple of little panels that I'm running on. I'm using Mario, and if I start to get Mario working by pressing, pressing the space bar, I've got gravity working, and Mario hops along, and he gets at the end here. If I, if I can make him work, no, he's going to fall down. So he falls off there. I can make him go backwards there, I'll play it again, I'll go forwards and backwards this time, then I'll show you what I've done with Mario to get him working. So he's running along, you see the background moves a little bit, bit of gravity there, and, and the space bar, if I stop it there, now I can go back again and make him hop along. Now you can change these gravity settings, I'll show you what they are. Um, obviously, if he falls down between two of these objects, game's over. Now, I haven't got any score or any other sort of identifying features in here. I just wanted to show you basic movement. So the right key just makes him jump to point, um, sets an instant scale of negative or positive so that he kind of jumps around, um, pointing in a particular rec uh, direction. Now the space key is where you get him to lift up. So here's where you've got jump to point, um, Y minus 2, gravity force 7, 0.7, friction 0.6, set a vertical speed of minus 2, and that is the speed up against gravity if you're not pressing the space bar. He'll fall down so that um, you can see that there's an assignment of gravity there. So the object itself as well, when he impacts on that object, 
obviously doesn't go through it, reverses, he has to be solid as all of these sprites have to be. And you can see there that uh, when you hit the space bar that starts off the gravity, you could have done that in a create movement. In any case, uh, thank you for watching another Computing with Dr. D video. I hope this helps you develop your own platform games. Obviously there's a lot more complexity that you have to add to your platform games, but I hope that these settings down here to the left help you um, in laying out your viewpoints and camera positions and the movement of your viewpoints and the movement of the background as well. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you that, but um, the horizontal speed of the background there is minus negative four with an animation speed of 15. So good luck with your programming.